All right, so this is the continuation of the video that I played. Now, I just played this video, right? Um, if y'all if y'all want to see my, you know, reaction, reaction, y'all can go check it out. But just to skim through it, pretty much, well, let's just play it. At the center of a viral video who claimed a man threw a brick at her head because she would not give him her phone number is now wanted by Houston police. This story got national attention after that woman live streamed what she claimed was the aftermath on Instagram and started a GoFundMe. Only KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is talking with the prosecutor on this case tonight. He joins us live near the gallery with the latest, Bryce. Daniela, Houston police got called to the street in September, and when they arrived, the woman seen in that viral video told them that an Uber driver threw a brick at her head and then tried to kidnap her. But tonight, she has become the focus of this, of this criminal investigation. It was an Uber driver because Houston police say the surveillance footage captured by cameras on this street doesn't match her story. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. This video with more than a million likes on the Shade Room's Instagram page captured the moments after what appeared to be a brutal attack in West Houston. Y'all gonna let a man hit me like this. The woman is 33-year-old Rhoda Osmond. What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? Seen here in tears in a hospital gown. She told the detective they responded that she was hit in the head with a brick after she refused to give her phone number to a guy on the street. And was that verified by any of the evidence that detectives looked at? No, that was not verified. Harris County Prosecutor Keith Houston says surveillance videos from that early September morning show Osmond hitting a man first. So she's the one who... So she aggressed the man first. She was the aggressor. She was the aggressor, yes. And it was a water bottle that hit her, not a brick. He did have a water bottle in his hand, and we think that's what left the mark. According to court documents, she asked someone else to launch this GoFundMe for her recovery, raising more than $42,000. But as the story went viral, a blogger on TikTok called police, alerting them to this 2020 GoFundMe, which claimed a vicious assault by a security guard in Minneapolis. Detective Thornton verified with Minneapolis police that there was no assault done at that time. It was completely fictional. Prosecutors alleged theft by deception and believe she would have received all that money had the campaign not been shut down. The violence I have suffered since September 3rd is just unbelievable. I can't even believe I'm here. They try to leave me for dead. In an Instagram story posted Wednesday, Osman addressed those who have doubted her. I I actually have things going on in my life. I actually have real ways to make money. I don't have to get a GoFundMe for money. I actually can earn income because I'm actually educated. And I actually am talented. And tonight, a spokesperson for GoFundMe telling KPRC2 GoFundMe has zero tolerance for the misuse of our platform. The fundraiser has been removed from the platform. All donors have been refunded. And Rhoda Osmond has been banned from using the platform for any future fundraisers. Osmond did not respond when I reached out to her on Instagram this evening. So as you see, uh, according to, you know, live, according to the news, not only is she banned from GoFundMe, GoFundMe, GoFundMe banned her. Uh, according to the surveillance, she attacked the man first. Um, the money has been refunded and they're looking for. Her. Now we're going to hear from the person who was accused of throwing a brick. On KPRC TV and the KPRC 2 Plus live stream, the news starts now. Right out, 10 competing claims about this viral video. Y'all gonna have a man hit me like this. As a woman seen, and it cancels her plan to turn herself in for theft charges. Only on two, the man accused of a violence reaches out to For theft charges. She is accused of theft charges, stealing the money from GoFundMe, I guess, on false, you know, false, uh, you know, claims. KPRC2 and shares his story in the aftermath of that night. What has it been like for you having to stay silent? It's the hardest thing to do. Is to not say anything when the whole world is saying something about you. Thank you so much. For joining us tonight at 10 o'clock, I'm Daniela Guzman. Menachi Garvin, the woman who made those allegations is wanted by Houston police tonight because investigators say she made up the story to profit from a GoFundMe. KBRC 2's Bryce Newberry is now live at HPD headquarters tonight with the exclusive interview. Bryce. Keith and Daniela, Rhoda Osmond, who's known virally as Brick Lady, was expected to surrender here at Houston police headquarters this afternoon. That did not happen. But tonight, the man who she accused of throwing that brick at her head when she says she wouldn't give him her phone number is telling only KPRC 2 what he says happened that night. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. This video has been seen millions of times. The man accused of the viral brick throw reached out to me for his first interview. This was a well thought of plan. A dive. So this is the man that allegedly hit the young lady with the water bottle. She said it was a brick, but the surveillance said that it was a water bottle. Okay. Olin Douglas is a father, son, and small business owner. But in September, allegations made by 33-year-old Rhoda Osmond nearly put it all at risk. It caused people who I thought really knew me to kind of betray me. Douglas says he met her at a club near the Galleria as she wore a mask that only revealed her eyes. He invited her to an after party. It's as if she was trying to get in some... Okay, I'm confused because I thought it was an Uber driver. I thought in that last video it said it was an Uber driver. driver. Now it's a different person? Okay, I'm confused now. Type of conflict, but says she was aggressive and very intoxicated. They ended up in a car with friends. She physically didn't start touching me until I asked her to leave. So you gotta get out. Outside the car, Houston police say surveillance video then showed Osman slapping him in the face before he hit her back with what appears to be a plastic water bottle in hand. You should never hit a woman in general, but 
I didn't want to hit her, actually. It was like, she hit me and I just reacted. According to court documents, the footage didn't match what Osmond told police, that a male Uber driver threw a brick at her and tried to kidnap her, that she did her own investigation and was told that Douglas was the one who assaulted her. She's now charged with theft because prosecutors say she made it up and tried to profit from this GoFundMe that raised more than $42,000. It's been a divide between, you know, black men, black women, and, and it's been, it's, 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 it's really evil what she did. If police didn't have this surveillance video, this evidence that basically clears you, what kind of situation do you think you'd be in? I would be that guy that hit a girl with a brick. I'm black. I'm surprised I didn't get arrested in 30 seconds from this going out. Douglas says he's received death threats from complete strangers. She's just manipulating people using their pain. And that is, should be the true crime here. He hopes people online will be more conscious. The internet is the internet. It's not real life all the time. I spoke with Houston police this evening. They tell me that the major offenders division investigated this alleged assault, but the evidence in the case led them to this theft charge against Osmond. Tonight, she does remain wanted, but in an Instagram comment from her page, she said that she's been harmed and abused and looks forward to her day in court. We're live downtown. Wow. Okay. So she made up the story about an Uber driver. And this was the dude that was accused of throwing the brick, but comes to find out it wasn't a brick. According to. Fox, I mean, according to Houston, Houston News, it wasn't a brick. It was a water bottle. And all this was made up just to profit from GoFundMe. God damn, boy. Y'all leave a comment down below, man. But, I, man, this this right here shook up the whole Internet. And everybody, everybody made videos. Everybody had opinions on this. I definitely had my opinion on it. I was like, how the hell did that work? So a water bottle did this? A water bottle did this. Not a brick. Not a brick. Now she's wanted on theft charges because she ran with a lie and profited off of the lie. So now she's wanted for theft charges. Sheesh, man. Y'all leave a comment down below. So we heard from the guy himself. You know, this is this is all alleged, right? This is all alleged because I don't know. But according to, uh, you know, the news, this is the guy that was that, you know, set the Internet on fire. Well, I, I want to say he set the Internet, internet on fire. It was it was kind of kind of both of them. But damn, Gino. That's crazy. That is crazy, man. Y'all leave a comment down below. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Sheesh.